Off the back of a landmark sponsorship deal with Ladbrokes, we're joined by Tony Partridge, the CEO of the Brisbane Racing Club. Tony, how did it all come about? G'day, Adam. Well, Ladbrokes is now the partner, the wagering partner of the Brisbane Racing Club, Eagle Farm and Doombin Racecourses. Look, the market was opened up recently. We went to all the big players, but we found Ladbrokes as the best fit for our business. We had a chat to them about what they would do for our customers, our carnivals, and where they're going as a business. And we're really pleased to make this announcement. And what excited you most about Ladbrokes as a partner? I think racing's in their DNA and they're a racing business and they understand the Queensland market. So for them, we, we knew they were gonna grow as well as us. We intend to grow as Brisbane will grow over the next decade. And Ladbrokes have amazing ambitions and we wanted to be part of that journey. And they told us what they could do for our customers, our owners, our members, our, our punters, our, those on the broadcast, and we just jumped at it. Exciting. Uh, and the, the length of the deal is something that stands out, seven years. I mean, that, that's pretty rare in today's world. But we plan a long way ahead and Ladbrokes do as well. So seven years it is. And no doubt, like the partnership at Mooney, Mooney Valley, it could go on a lot longer than that. Certainly could. Um, and as far as the sponsorship goes, we'll get into some of the details on the way through, but it's sort of like just another step of the growing business that is a BRC now. You've been here for just over three years. I have been here for three years and it has grown. So the master plan is taking shape, but we've also fixed the racing side of the business. So we've got a great program now at uh, Stradbroke season. We've grown turnover by 50% over the last two years. Now we're working on spectator facilities and the commercial side of the business. And this wagering partnership is a big part of this, as is our strategic partnership with the Queen's Wharf Casino. So what you'll see in the future is Stradbroke seasons where you'll come to Brisbane, stay in one of these new five-star hotels, go to the Ladbrokes Calcutta, and then enjoy yourself at Ladbrokes Derby Day or uh, Stradbroke Day. Outstanding. Now, I want us to look over our shoulder here because this is something of a masterpiece, this training complex. And probably one of the things that the Brisbane Racing Club is A, envied for and B, most proud of. Absolutely. So the club took the hard decision to invest $45 million a few years ago and build 430 infield stables. And these infield stables are now producing Group 1 winners. We've had six individual Group 1 winners from here in the last three years. It took the previous eight years for us to have six individual winners. So uh, we're training winners and it's world-class facilities. The horses are calm, they get great breezes. They don't have to cross a road to do training in the morning. And all the trainers love it. We've got seven of the top 10 Queensland trainers here at Eagle Farm. Visionary in many ways, isn't it? I mean, it's protected the future as well. That's right. And a lot of race clubs come to us to learn from this infield stable project and see if they can do the same. And certainly freeing up land for uh, residential developments and commercial developments is something that all big race clubs need to be looking at. Now, the marquee event you have is at Stradbroke Carnival and uh, and really got a big kick along this year with Alligator Blood's dominant win. And then the, the deeds of Alligator Blood after that was an advertisement for your carnival as well. Yeah, absolutely. We like to think that winners in the Victorian spring come from the Brisbane winter and that trend continued. Certainly did. Um, plans for the Stradbroke? Well, the Stradbroke is Queensland's iconic race. It's a signature race. If the Stradbroke's going well, Queensland racing is going well. But it's also a 1,400 metre handicap, so anyone can win it. So Queensland trainers can aspire to win it. You don't need a million dollar horse. And a lot of the trainers here, it's their number one bucket list item is to, is to win a Stradbroke. So we're uh, working with Racing Queensland on a prize money increase. We're uh, going to hero Stradbroke day and it is now Stradbroke season. It's no longer the Queensland Winter Carnival. And just like there's a, a Melbourne Cup Carnival or an Everest Carnival, it's Stradbroke for Queensland. And you're one of rare, a rare club who has two major carnivals where we're obviously into this summer carnival now, which is, which is really big. Tell us a bit more about summer. Yeah, we're fortunate to have group racing twice a year. So the summer carnival is known as the Road to Magic Millions, where the hero event is, of course, Magic Millions Day on the Gold Coast. But there's a lot of group racing all the way up to New Year's Eve, where everyone tries to qualify for the Magic Millions. And we get away a lot of the listed and group races that have been in our carnival for some time. And Tony, 
with the Olympics coming to Brisbane, you you need to sort of build out a business plan around that, I guess. Absolutely. So I don't think everybody appreciates what Brisbane is going to do in the next 10 years. So it's the Olympic city in 10 years, but the government has spent so much on infrastructure and there's so much more to come and population growth is going to be significant. Our race club and our carnivals need to grow with it. So we have grand plans for an event centre known as the terraces to replace the John Power stand here at Eagle Farm. 9,000 capacity, terraced glass walls so you can see the mounting out at the back, track at the front when you're standing at any bar on any floor. That's our vision for Eagle Farm. And we've got this vision of being part of Brisbane. And as I said, that partnership with Queen's Wharf, the partnership with tourism bodies and government to make sure that there are tens of thousands of people here over Stradbroke season enjoying what they love, which is horse racing. The building blocks are in place. Thanks for your time today. And maybe just lock me in for this vantage point for your next race meeting. Will do. Thanks, Adam.